An old man with an obvious wasting disease wearing a Call of Duty beanie, that can only mean one thing. It's grind my gear time, peeps, and we're gonna do that together today, right here on Geargasms. Hi everybody, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, it's episode eight of Grind My Gear. What's grind my gear, you're probably going to ask, and I'm going to tell you in just a second. But first, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe. This channel, it's kind of like a hamster. It's not big enough to eat, but yet it's too big to stick up your poop chute. Celebrate mediocrity. So Grind My Gear is a series here where you send me your potato can picks of your ratchet ass gear or your very expensive picks of your very expensive gear and we either bust on it or we ooh and ah over it. I try to find funny things to say and I get rich. If you want your gear featured on Grind My Gear, you can send it in an email to us here at Geargasms. The email address is in the description and I'll tell it to you in case you're too dumb to read, firehouse5150 at hotmail.com. Hotmail. First up on the list and it is a doozy. Where do we start, peeps? Let's be nice. Let's start with the guitars. I love that Gretsch. I love the thumbnail inlays. I love this guitar, but I don't know what it is. It reminds me of the old Ibanez Phil Collin played back in the Def Leppard days. And I think even Rick Willis had something similar to that for a period of time. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I know you will. An amp that we cannot identify. Pedals. Got, you know, you sent me this picture and we can't really see much of nothing. I can see more about your remote controls than I can your pedal, son. Loser. I see a slide, I see a, a green pedal. He's got the all-in-one Allen wrench tools set. And you see this little wrenchy thing there? That means that man is serious about working on guitars. That is a very handy tool to have. Couple more remotes, a file, a pick, and this wooden spoon that maybe came off the wall or something. I don't know if he's making dinner or making music. This is your mom. So this room you can see from the rail there, it is like one of those upstairs at the top of the stairs rooms. Maybe it's on a third floor. It's wide open. That seems to be the space that the missus has given him, but she insists that he puts their family photos on the table, which I've lovingly blurred. Here's what gets me. What are these things in the corner? They appear to me to be kind of personal, yo. Oh my goodness. Are there pleasure bumps on the end of that one on the right? Is that what we're seeing? Another guitar leaning up against the couch that we can't see. Looks like it's got a snark on it. It must be the one he plays. Looks like a reverend over here. Am I right? Am I right? That is so gorgeous. And again, I love those. It's got that whole mid-century modern vibe going on there. I just love stuff like that. One day I'll have a guitar like that. I'm gonna find something really odd to get. Those shoes, bro. I don't see laces, yet they're not Vans. Busted. Are those some kind of slip-on hemp shoes? Oh, dude, don't do that. Those dual and dildos in the corner though, now I just can't get past them. Three songs I would grind on this gear would be Hungry Heart by Bruce Springsteen, Bringing on the Heartbreak by Def Leppard, and Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. What a flex. This space is so cool. I love the fact that there seems to be a real exposed brick wall there. It's not some kind of faux background, I don't think. I think it's legit. I don't know, I'd be a little scared to hang my guitars on that though. I don't know how far they stick off. That's scary, son, because you got some sweet guitars up against that brick. Let's run through them. Two PRSs. They look to be custom 24s, the both of them. And then what is that? The modern Eagle in the middle, I think that's what that model was. Oh, I rarely see a PRS that I don't jive with, but I'm looking at the wood on the side and the color and the binding. That's fugly, bro. The one next to it though, I love. Look at that beautiful wood peeking out around that translucent black finish. We got us a blue strat there. Me, is that Daphne blue? Again, just gorgeous. And then what the ever loving hell is next to that? Okay, they make some tallies with belly cuts. So that's not so weird, but look at that bridge, yo. That's a strat bridge. Oh, dude, did you put a strat bridge in a telly? Did you ruin one of the most important things that's great about a telly? You, you need a wang, a dingy 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 wangy dang on a telly. Get a Bigsby like a man. Don't do this. Don't ever do this. I'm almost having trouble continuing. So offended by that. Don't mess with a telly. 
I love the old Bose advertisement there. If you're of a certain age, you remember that the guy's rocking out some speakers and it's blowing him back. I miss those days. He has a Marshall JVM. Yes, one of the stranger Marshalls, and there are, they are many. He's rocking that out. Looks like into maybe a 212 beneath it. I'm not quite sure. Could be 210s. Oh, this, this little rig right here. I have the same rig in black. Oh, that grill cloth and whatever you got that thing wrapped in and those handles and the corner pieces it is just a beautiful beast the man has bought so much prs gear that he just they gave him like a free bag of some kind i don't know what kind of bag that is he's got the pedal train nano just like me and some little mini pedals on there it looks like a the ditto looper mini the uh the tc the little mini uh delay that they have and then most frustratingly, there's stuff around the corner that I want to peep at. I just can't see what it is. You know they got sex toys on the table. Almost everyone does. It's Britney, bitch. On some table in their house, they just leave, leave it right out on the top. Decent people come over to visit. They see all that laying around. Oh, my goodness gracious. Can you put it in a drawer? Sexy thing. Hide your shame like decent people. Three guitars I would grind on this gear would be Smooth by Santana. Back on the Chain Gang by The Pretenders. And run away by ye. That Kanye, he's a crazy son of a bitch right now, ain't he? Good Lord, have mercy. Follow that man on Insta. Oh my goodness, another flex. This is a flex in every way. It's a decor flex. It's an interesting guitar flex. It's Christmas time in this picture, and doesn't it feel like Christmas here? It sure does. There is no name on that headstock, people, but just a beautiful semi hollow. It kind of almost looks like the one that Wolfgang's rocking, you know, the EVH uh, that, that, he, the, that he's rocking that's hollow. It has that sort of general vibe. And then look at that curly cable. You know, oohing and on over a cable doesn't happen very often in gear land. Look at how rich and thick that cable looks. Look at the girth on that. That's what she said. Thank you, TC Electronic, for making the Ditto logo so big that we can see that. It's got like a Surf Rider. I'm going to guess that is maybe a spring reverb. It's a deluxe reverb. He's got the switch on top. He knows what he's doing. He's plugged into that. The Marshall below it apparently does not get as much love. Looks like it's a DSL 40. I love those. And if I was going to have the, the combo, you got to get the white Tolex. That looks so classy and badass. We got a Christmas tree over in the corner. The floors look amazing. I love the color on the wall. It really makes the molding pop there. Everything looks tight and crisp. The shades look tight and crisp. We can see out into the yard a little bit. And again, it's Christmas outside and inside, but wait a minute. Will you wait a minute? Oh, dude, this was going so well. Is that like Lilo and Stitch? Is that from like Lilo and Stitch? Are those Disney characters on top of your amp? I'm not mad about Disney characters. I'm not mad about anything, but oh, bro. I got stuff from my childhood in my music room and stuff like that. So maybe you're a lot younger than me, or maybe you're my age and you're just creepy as fuck. Oh, I don't know, bro. This was going so well. It's like that mole on Cindy Crawford's face. It's all good until you get there and then you hit the John Boy brakes and you're like, oh no, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Three songs I would grind on this gear would be Whipping Post by the Allman Brothers. Just got paid, the Joe Bonamassa version, and Let It Happen by Tame Impala. Now often when people send me these pics, I'm not really sure if I'm being punked or not. This dude is into bass. He's a bass player. Well, God love him, we need him. This dude is a bass player. Let's hit that room first. Let's go backwards. The room. The carpet looks rich and clean. Walls are crisp. Baseboards. All the molding is crisp. The couch looks clean. I don't see any schmutz on the on the back. So like when you you know you rest your head on the back and you get all that that Jerry Curl soul glow stainage going on. CBS Sunday Morning with Charles Kuralt. Don't you just love that? If you're not in America or of a certain age, I apologize for that reference. Look, the dude's serious about that rack though. He throws a towel over each one so it won't touch the rubber coating or whatever. Those bases though, let's go through them. I don't know much about bases, uh, you know, and I don't know much about anything, but I know a jazz bass when I see it. And I know a P bass when I see it. He's kind of a jazz guy, but look, he's got one P in there hiding, kind of hiding from us, the P of shame. Busted. These CDs though, bro. <laughs> you for reals with this? Do you listen to these? 
This is old school. This is some waxy maxy Sam Goody shit. I'm, I'm getting like strong 90s vibe. Let me see if I can pinch in enough to see what this fella listens to. Well, I see hate breed. That one's kind of easy. He's into hate breed. The rest of it, uh, I'm like at the eye doctor and I fail. Don't know what his music tastes are. And quite frankly, we don't care. I do not Why care. don't we care? Because I'm about to tell this boy what three songs I would grind on this gear. And the three songs I would grind on this gear would be, of course, Big Bottom by Spinal Tap. When Doves Cry by Prince. Psych, there's no bass in that. And of course, All About That Bass by Megan Trainer. Now we come to a room that is gonna, oh, oh my gosh. All my OCDs are, are pinging at once. Where do I start? Dude has a beautiful Ibanez jazz type box there. Standard issue, off-white Fender Strat or the white on white. It's like, like the most boring sneaker ever. Oh, I love this though. There's some charm. Can't really tell what it is, but looks like it has a beautiful wood top. This room, you see me rocking back and forth. It, it, I'm actually starting to get like high anxiety. I, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go into my like, my, my panic attack coping skills. But these racks, dude. The late 80s called. Ding, 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 it's Bob Bradshaw on the line. You remember him? Even he thinks that's fucking ridiculous, bro. Looks like maybe an old ADAT and, and a CD deck or two. And then over here, looks like a Sony deck. He may actually, on the top there, have a mini disc recorder that I had back in my radio days. But over here, this. I don't know about y'all or what era you came up in. I came up in this era. I, I have no nostalgia for this. I don't see this rig and go, oh, holy crap, man. I've never seen that, a rack like that. I can't wait to plug into it. I bet it sounds amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait to crack open the manual and see if I can get through the whole thing plus all seven appendices so I can figure out how to get a guitar signal to a speaker through this fucking rack. <laughs> Got a multi-FX in addition to the rack. Okay. And a small pedal board for maybe like when he goes out and does a little traveling. What is that? What is that, a spaceship you got down there on the floor? So let's focus on the middle of this. We're gonna spend some time here. And I apologize in advance. Two monitors that match. Check. But what about this speaker? This tall speaker? What about it? it I don't see one on the other side. Is it there simply to hold up the speakers on this side? And then what the hell is that? But it's got that stack of CDs in front of the other monitor though. You And a marijuana plant there of some sort. A tube amp that we can't quite make out, but look at, look at how tall those tubes are. That's where I look like laying down. Then we got some very homemade looking speaker box that he probably took out of his van. The van, you know the van, you know the van I'm talking about, the one without windows. At least he was kind to give his victim some music while it was happening, plus it drowns out the screams. But yeah, this room is, has so much cool stuff in it, yet I hate it. Three songs I would grind on this gear would be The Nag by John Schofield, Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes, and All Too Well by Taylor Swift. What did we learn today? We learned that even though it's 2022, there are still those of us out there that have like racks of gear in their music room. And finally, we learned that you all can't seem to take a coherent picture of your gear to save your life. Come on! You're sending me a picture of your gear, right? You want us to see it. We, we can't even tell what you got. And next time, get clearer pictures of your CDs. We want to know what you're listening to. As always, I thank you for the time that you spend with the channel. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You got some embarrassing, unctuous, smelly, freeload, moochy, section eight ghetto friends. Them's my peeps. Send them this way. And wouldn't those people look glorious and, and maybe less ratchet if they had some of this very tasteful Geargasms merch draped over their cuerpos? Nice. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Michael Angelo Badio about it. He'll do that whole ambidextrous thing and he'll put the Da Vinci move on your old lady. Ooh. You don't want that, ah. but play more guitar. Watch less of this and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms.